So bases in Minecraft are pretty useful, right? And this is a Minecraft base here, and it does pretty well at keeping them at keeping the mobs out. I haven't had any mobs in this base. Considering that's not even finished, that's that's pretty good. But last night I had a thought. What if Minecraft mobs had their own bases? And that's where the idea for this video came from. And we are going to be starting with uh, the Minecraft. <coughs> Yeah, so a Minecraft zombie, it's pretty much just a dead Steve. So my thought was to have a a house thing, like a broken down rustic house. So let's see what blocks. We'll get wood. We'll also get some cobblestone. We'll get some slabs. And some stairs. These are the starting things. But pretty much we're going to want to build a nice little house. So about three blocks wide is good enough. And let's say about this wide. No, actually let's make it four blocks wide. So in the middle it's got five blocks then you pretty much just want to build that up like this so the walls will be up and we can always make changes like I'm not liking the size of this so I'm gonna change it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay up the entrance so the entrance will go here because I have a plan to build up a wall here and on this side as well just to keep the symmetry and this wall here will come well we'll go off there like that and then come down a couple blocks like over here like that and then we're just gonna want to build those up then we'd have the walls go up there and I took the liberty of filling in the walls as well but just having one floor doesn't seem like it fits in enough for a zombie so we we are gonna build a little roof so this one here is gonna go actual up then in here it's gonna go all in by one so there'd be like a roof there and then on the upstairs it's gonna look like that right so I've gone ahead and built the little roof for the front section here and I've actually made it extend out by one which I might actually do for this side over here as well because it actually makes it look quite nice but that does mean this is gonna have to be cobblestone here unless we go ahead and do this so like that then on the corners of the roof it's just gonna be like this then between the middle it shall just be like this right so now I have the house for where the well zombies will live now whilst it doesn't look too good right now we're gonna end up make it look a bit deformed like broken so we're gonna punch a couple holes then we can get ourselves some cobblestone slabs and stairs and then we can make indents right so now we've put holes in the building we're gonna want to give it some age to show that the zombies have lived there quite some time and I'll do that with some mossy cobble so pretty much I just gotta dot this around right so now I've done that and I've taken the liberty to put 
a couple vines on there to show that it's got some aging to it. But now we have to work on the interior a little. And also for the roof, I'm just gonna punch a couple holes in it like this. It's easy enough. But now we can go inside and work on the interior. And to start with, we need a different floor. There we go, that looks better as a floor. And now we need like a type of lighting because this place used to belong to like either a Steve or an Alex. And it clearly shows that it's been here a while. So just a couple torches in, in the house will be fine. And also upstairs here because there's going to be a ladder move away upstairs there we go now i've got a ladder and i've used barrier blocks behind it because i couldn't think of anything to put in there that wouldn't take away from the wall but pretty much there's just gonna be like a spawner and some loot up there and we just want to make this so i'd say over here there would be a bed like this there's there's a bed and let's put a crafting table a chest and a furnace in here somewhere and also an armor stand so the armor stand can go next to the bed I did not mean to break that there can be a furnace over here with a chest next to it and a crafting table and let's let's give this place a nice little table there we go. So this is what looks like downstairs. And we gotta remember this is gonna be viewed at night from the zombies perspective. So let's take a look at what night looks like. Right, this is what it looks like at night time. Outside it looks quite nice. Now I might get rid of like one or two torches and probably move one. Yeah, there it's not too bright and not too dark as well because it still needs to be bright for the mob spawner up here. But as long as I'm still building this, we're going to work on it in the daytime. There. Now, I need like a good looking door for it. And I am guessing that a nice little spruce door can go on it. And... Ooh. I have to point outwards and we can also give the zombies a nice little path and we can make it out of brick as well there we go this is what the path looks like now other than there being sheep around the outside of this doesn't look quite as zombie the fire like it doesn't look like there's been age so we could put up like a couple little rocks around and yeah that may make it look quite nice actually there we go now the place has some rocks around it now this is actually looking quite nice so it's surrounded by rocks and this is where it came from and it's in quite a nice location. And now we need the loot that would be in the dungeon up above. So if we go up here, there'd be a chest there and a chest here. As well as a spawner. Let me give myself that. So there'd be a spawner there. We're going to want to make it spawn a couple zombies. With this egg. And now, let's put, like, two diamonds, a couple iron, some gold, some coal, a couple string, a feather. So there'd be a diamond in there, two pieces of iron, three pieces of coal, uh couple more string than that 
two, three feathers in there, and some coal. And in this one, there can be two diamonds, uh, more pieces of coal, some string, uh, three more gold, and two iron, and a couple feathers. Right, so that's all that's upstairs. And also these torches are gonna have to go out. And now downstairs, since this is where Steve used to live, this is where he'd have like food and that. So let's get some apples, uh, some bread, some pork chop, cooked and uncooked, some mutton, and some steak. So there'd be a couple apples, some bread, a couple pork chops, a couple more uncooked ones, uh, some uh, raw mutton, some cooked mutton, uh, some raw beef, and some steak. And that may be a bit too much food, but it's good. So now we're gonna want to set this to night time. Right, this is what the complete house looks like. There may be a bit more vines in before, but that's because they just grew. And it sounds like the zombies are already spawning in there. So if we go inside, we can then go up the ladder, and yeah, there's a couple zombies, and let me fix that ladder. So yeah, now the zombies are spawning, and there should be some, a couple outside as well. And this is what a true infested zombie house would look like. It's quite nice. But uh, yeah, this does it for this video. In the next one, we can do either creepers or skeletons. I'll make up my mind when I record it. But yeah, thanks for watching this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is a new thing I'm starting. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye, guys.